Welcome to the Game Redacted podcast, episode uno. That's one in Spanish. I think. No, it's not. Is it Italian? <laughs> anyway. No, it is Spanish. <laughs> anyway, with me today for this kind of pilot episode sort of thing is uh, the lovely Kay Bonefield. Say hello, Kay. Hello. The, yes. Uh, the, the, short, the short person, Ari Oldman. Say hi. That's me. And, and our Indian. You can talk. My dad's calling me. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, jeez. Great start, Palmer. So we've lost Palmer, who was actually just playing Assassin's Creed as we were talking to him, so it doesn't really matter. So how you guys been? Yeah. Pretty good. good. Sorry. Just, um, yeah. Mm, mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm, yes. So this is the kind yeah. of insightful discussion you can expect from the Game Redacted podcast. I, I thought... I, I've got a few topics just to kind of segue onto if we need to. So I thought we'd kind of start by talking about the... Okay, Ari, Segway is a word, okay? <laughs> Segway is not just a vehicle. We've had this Segway. discussion. Segway. You know, Ari actually thought uh, it was pronounced Segui when he first saw that word. No, it, no, no, Segu. Segu. I'm like, what's a Segu? And then Robbie just goes, it's a Segway, Ari. And I was like, no, no that says Segu. Ari, it does. Ari and his battles with the English language. So anyway, I thought we'd talk about the Oculus Rift sale. You know how Facebook bought them and stuff? Yeah. I uh, affirmative. I, I don't think I don't think it's a good idea. To, for them what to buy it. What are they gonna do? Oculus for us to talk Rift. About. No, I mean I mean field. for them to buy it. Oh, Ari, are you criticizing my choice of topics? <laughs> Ari, I run this well, show, I could I could easily fire I just, I just don't want to go with something that's that's already been talked not, about, you know. Well, I mean I haven't talked about it. Can I just I say, firstly, that I don't like the entire idea of the Oculus Rift? I I think okay. it's a good idea, but I'm not sure if it's going to catch on, because... I don't, I don't like know. the idea. Like, it's just screens that move with your head. What's the point? Well, I guess it gives you that sort of feeling of being inside the game. And yeah, stuff. but does it really? I mean, I've used, I used one yeah. once. Uh, I think I think at its current stage, it's it's still very primitive, and we can't really get proper, nice, smooth gameplay out of it. I was so thought you were gonna say premature, but okay. Please go on, Ari. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think it'll catch on just yet, but as I think as technology advances, it will definitely catch on as a virtual reality system. Yeah, but do we need virtual reality systems? We, we're always going to need virtual reality systems. It's just like I don't know, countless sci-fi movies where they're in the simulator and they fight all these like aliens in these situations. So like and the holodeck and Star training. Trek. Yeah, like the holodeck. That's it. Look, to be and honest, honestly, I think I think every little kid dreams of that when they're a little when they when they're young and they watch Star Trek or. I don't mind having sci-fi. maybe like some three D holograms and stuff, but I'm not so keen on the idea of the virtual reality goggles. I don't know why. Uh, well, um, why also, don't you know why? You got, you got to give a reason for it. I just think video games are all about escaping reality. Why do we want to make it into reality? You know. I know, I know. A lot of games but are trying to be more wait, and more so realistic. You, you're saying you're saying you want to escape reality, but putting goggles over your head is too real. Well, no, because you're trying to make. You just said it adds immersion and makes it feel like it's real. Or maybe that was K. But. Yeah, that, I don't me. that, that means you're that means you're escaping your current reality and going into another one. No, but you're making it feel like it's the real reality. Which leads but us under the, the question, what is reality? So you play games because you want to feel like you're playing a game. Yes. At the end of the day I do. It's relaxing, it's entertaining, it's not real life. Nothing no problems with that. But that that, that in itself is escaping for your current reality. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I like escaping from my current reality, but I don't like entering into another reality. I like having video games that know what they are. They're video games. Yeah, okay. I, I see I see what you're trying to get at. I mean... I, I get this, like, this concept of kind of boundaries between real and... I don't know, simulation? Yeah. I mean, I, I, Maybe I'm simulation's all, not quite the right thing. I'm all for the advancement of the Oculus Rift, just because I think it is a cool technology, but... I don't think I'll use it. Oh, that sounds like Palmer's back. Is that you back, Palmer? I don't my back. Oh, hello, Palmer. Yes. So, Palmer, how's Assassin's Creed going? Yes. Which one are you playing? 
Yes. You're not you're not Soulstorm. <laughs> you don't have to talk like him. Yes. Soulstorm, you are Soulstorm, <laughs> so you you I guess that's okay. Puma, what Carry, Assassin's Creed? Carry on. I am playing Assassin's Creed three. Now we've already discussed a bit of Assassin's Creed three before the show, haven't we? She said it was uh, shit. I did, and I yes, will stand by have. that. Uh, so Paul Kay hates Connor because he is an ethnic 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 minority. K K yeah. is a bit of an Aryan master race kind of person. So. <laughs> an Aryan master That's, race. That wouldn't surprise me. But Paul it's Mar a bit like the PC gamers against console. That's we're not, we're not segueing onto that topic yet, Soulstorm. Jeez. Yeah, let's let's not let's not let's go stick into with the... Assassin's Creed for now. Assassin's Creed is good. So, but, uh, 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 I was just giving an example. I wasn't. Yes. Okay, uh, we get it. You're a uh, bit of a racist, Soulstorm. <laughs> a bit, a bit. You make me laugh. I feel like just at the moment, I should just flash up the Skype screen, which has your little profile picture on it. <laughs> just oh my god! Us. Just because it fits quite nicely. So anyway, I hate Assassin's Creed Three. So I want you guys to try and prove oh. that it's not that bad. You know what? Robbie? Actually, um, can I, b before we go into that, have you guys heard of the the Sulon Cortex? I have not. What is the Sulon Cortex? Uh, I think it. Um, you know how there's virtual reality? Yes, I, I I've heard of it. Uh, do you know there's also augmented reality? So what's that? What's what? What? So are basically, it it's it's a headset and it's it, it like goes around your face and your eyes. And it screens what's directly in front of you and applies like 3D effects to it. Okay. So, basically, instead of totally simulating a physical world around you, it'll modify your current world to look different to you. Have you? Have you? Do you have? You don't have a Nintendo 3DS, do you? No. They've got a little augmented reality game that's quite a lot like that. Yeah. No. I, I've I've seen I've seen them happen, and Obviously you can get them on the iPhone. Oh can you? well. Um. Maybe. But yeah, I think that's I think a pretty so. basic thing. I don't know, I, I kind of like the idea of that as well. <laughs> Just to make my own opinions even more confusing. Although they they look a bit like you, someone's hacked Asimo to a bit of to, to little bits and strapped it to your head at the moment. That's uh, the best way to describe it. I've met Asimo, the robot. Have you? Yes. He came you, to my school you must, and... You must think you're pretty cool. Uh, you know, I do. Back in primary school, Toyota had a... <laughs> it's a, it's right, <laughs> Is it Toyota or Hyundai that owns uh, Asimo? Toyota. Yeah, Toyota. I think so. Toyota had a little competition um, that I entered for my school, and we won. And Asimo came to our school, and I got to shake his hand on stage. Oh, did Brennan just oh, go Oh, Honda. The Honda, not Toyota. Honda. It's Honda, Honda. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, yeah so he's a cool little dude. Hello, Brenda, uh, Brennan. I'd just like to welcome Brennan. Into Brennan McGuire, the... ladies and gentlemen. Brennan McGuire. Yeah. Uh, so this Hello. Is oh, he Everyone. is here. Oh. oh, my God. Yes. Brennan, we were wow, just about to okay. start talking about Assassin's Creed. Have you played any Assassin's Creeds? Brennan McGuire, ladies and gentlemen. Palmer, tell us uh, about Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, I, I was petting a dog earlier. Whoa, guys, come on. I, I can't Brennan, tell if he's lagging or if he's just retarded. Let, let's just talk to Palmer for now. <laughs> Palmer, uh, whereabouts are you in the game? No spoilers, please. Uh, well, without spoilers, uh, I would say I'm up. Brennan's being attacked by a plane, are guys. You, are you are you just like walking down the street? <laughs> I just don't how uh, do you think, feel about this. I think Brennan's just You're talking right. to us on his phone, aren't you? I mean Yeah, yeah. he is. Uh I have like guys, three. Guys, I'm in like I'm in like downtown Albury, like <laughs> there are like people everywhere. I I don't know how to get home. It's pretty dark. Send help. Please. Guys. Guys. I think someone's coming, guys. <laughs> Let's just try and establish a quick. Who's played what Assassin's Creed? All right, all you, of them. All right, oh, what have I've, you played? I've played I've played Brotherhood and I've played AC4, and I I did like Brotherhood, but no 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 no. We, I'm we sure that, that later. I just want to work out who's played what before I oh, uh, okay. deem whether or not you're valid. <laughs> it's okay, you say you've played okay. all of them. You're like oh, me. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm up to. Uh, I finished AC4 today. Yesterday, but today, but there's also yesterday. but there's also spin-offs as well. Like well, we're not counting Peter, Liberation. No one likes Liberation. Just, Oops. just the main ones. No, there's what? other spin-offs as well. Like what? There's one set in China. Is there? 
Are you yeah. are you talking oh, isn't about, that the about games or the um, comics? Isn't yeah, it the, the one game. that leads on to Embers? I don't even know. Is Embers the, that the China that movie? the China yeah the the weird badly animated one? Yeah, but um, is that the Chinese you... assassin comes to Ezio and is like, "I need yeah, your help. You yeah. need to I need you to teach me how to be an assassin or something like that." I didn't yeah, know that. Ezio like, doesn't um... even look like Ezio in that. I really cried. <laughs> He's yeah. like an old guy, and he looks like rendered TF2 polygons or something. It so... looks like Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I got, no, Ben. Kenobi. Oh yeah, it looks it looks like. Clone Wars. Now there's whatever, a name I haven't yeah. heard in many years. So Palma, what what uh, Assassin's Creed have you played? Obviously, you're playing I, three currently as we record this I've, podcast. I've oh, I've played all of them up to this one. And you finished them? Yeah, I finished all of them up to this one. Okay. Okay. Second question: Which was the first one that you played? One. Eighty-one. No, two. Ari. Wow. Uh, you, you played four first, didn't you? No, I played Brotherhood first. Okay, the first no, one I played. I played Brotherhood. Like I liked it, but I wasn't really into it. And then, then like I played AC four like a while later, and I got really into it. AC four, and I'm still completing it because I'm I'm just slow at it. Yeah, the uh, first one I played was the one on the old Game Boy Advance. Did anyone play that? What? Um, there was an Assassin's Creed there... Game Boy Advance. There was Assassin's uh, Creed on Game. Boy? It was terrible. Going, Worst yeah, game I've ever played. Oh my god. Oh. It was a little 2D Assassin's... side scroller. Oh, oh, oh um, Assassin's. Creed. I tell you what a good game was though. Oh. Simpsons Road Rage. Yeah, oh, Hit and Run, wasn't it? Hit and Run. Yeah, Hit and Run. Uh, yeah, hit... Oh, was it Hit and Run or was it Road Rage on the on the Game Boy? Hit and oh, that was Road Rage, I think, on the Game Boy. Hit and the run one where you fantastic. just drove around. Hit and Run was amazing. I think it was just Road hit Rage. And hit and Run hit was, and run well. was like Xbox and PlayStation Two. I'm pretty sure. Do you remember sure. when when yeah. like things yeah. had good video game tie-ins? Yes. Well, those yes. were the days. Like movies, yes. they would have a video game and it'd be really fun. Or it could like be Star really Wars bad. Bloody all oh. the Star Wars games up until about 2000 and... I'm going to say... Six. Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. There was, that was, there good. was a Star Wars 3 video game that no one seems to remember, but I played... I 100% I played it. And it was really I good. played it, yes. When, um... My favourite was... Jones. Wow. Mm. My favourite was... Doing the jewels, and I used to be. Yeah. I used to set both of my du- uh, dudes to Darth Vader's, oh. and the second Darth Vader would have a blue lightsaber because it wouldn't allow <laughs> two of the same Darth Vader's. <laughs> you you know what also had really good video game tie-ins? Harry Potter series. Did anyone play Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone? Oh, Lego, Lego uh, Harry Potter. I, don't remember I played one. Lord of the Rings. Does that count? Um, it's not the same thing. Different movies, in fact. Different books as well. Oh, dear, I'm going to get shot for saying movies first, aren't I? Um, yeah. <laughs> now, Philosopher's Stone was a really good game. I remember I was devastated in childhood because I got to this part where a bit of a game-breaking glitch meant that I had to start the whole game again. Oh. I hate, I hate it when that happens. But, you know, it was mm. such a good game. I persevered. I got through it again on the easy di- uh, difficulty because I was like four. Easy dick. Dick. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Easy dick. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, what's your favourite Assassin's Creed game then? Or you've only My... played two, so it'll be four for you, I know that much. Yeah, it's four. Okay. Four was Everyone really says two good. is really good, but honestly, I think it's just too old to be one of the best now. Well, oh, it's not I like it's past, it's past its prime. Oh, well, it yeah. still holds up so well, though. Graphically, but, it still looks impressive. Yeah. Um, uh, I think it's... it's yeah, okay. it, sorry. Um, it's not always about the looks, Ari. I mean, Assassin's Creed 2 was introducing it to you, and that was like, mm, prime. Those, those opening good. missions where you're, like, chatting up Claudia and... <laughs> not Claudia. Claudia is Claudia, Claudia, your sister, sister isn't she? Well, yeah. obviously, well, I've been playing that yeah. game wrong. Yeah, well... Mm. <laughs> What what's the game where you mm, have to yes. what what's the name Renee of the game you press yes. triangle to sleep with? Sophia. Um, <laughs> no, Sophia is in. <laughs> That's in Sophia Revelations. Is in Revelations. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't have been Revelations because I didn't play Christina. that game. Much. Christina. Christina, that's Christina. the name. That's See, it good. starts yeah. with a C, it ends with an A. I was close. That wasn't close to anything you said. <laughs> no, it's true. Um, yeah, no, two is my favorite by far, just because just the wow factor when you first see Florence. I think um, Assassin's Creed Revelations was my favorite because um, it gave more of a backstory in um, Revelations. Uh, AC1. Was my, 
I hated Revelations more than I hated 3. Wow. Just the whole game is bleak and boring. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, know, it's I kinda, guess. It's kind of hard liked... for me to choose a favorite, but yeah. Revelations was by far the worst one for me. Yeah, I do agree with you there, Palmer. My my top favorite would be Assassin's Creed 2, because that included, like that introduced Ezio, but my second favorite would be Assassin's Creed 1, because I was really, really um, in love with Altair. No homo, but yeah. I actually played 1 after I played Brotherhood. I played so 1 after I played 2. And That's right. Uh, because I played them afterwards... It just didn't, it didn't hold up as well. It yeah. just feels so clunky that game, at least to me. First, the first one was like really repetitive. That was all. It was, wasn't it? it and right. Altair was an American voice actor. That's true. Yeah, that, that was a bit uh, emotion yeah. breaking. It was only like six hundred years before America did its things with the the people, whatever. <laughs> I'd say though, in terms of sheer fun, Assassin's Creed Four was probably the best. Palmer doesn't like talking about AC4 because he can't play it. Oh, uh, poor Palmer. Um, Isn't that right, Palmer? Yeah, that is correct. Because those naval battles, I, I'll, I won't go into spoilers, but they are some of the most <laughs> fun things I've ever done. No, not for me. You didn't I like the naval battles? Not really, oh, because I Ari didn't has to really... leave, guys. He'll be oh, back in a bit. For a second. Please, go on, Kay. Sorry, I interrupted you. I didn't really um, upgrade my ship. Sorry for spoilers, if that's spoilers, <laughs> but... I'm sorry, but yeah, My I really spoilers. died a lot and stuff. Um, yeah, no, the, I, up, I I didn't bother upgrading my weapons at all. I only upgraded the ship. Yeah. Do you but know? What, we, do you know what? Oh, sorry. No, sorry you go. go. On, Paul. No, 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 you go. You no. go. You go, you go. All right, fine. Yeah, all right, you know what was really shitty though? What? Do you remember the the tower defense mini games in Revelations? I hated them. Fucking horrible. Is so that much. the one where you had to put up the barricades and stuff? Yes. No, I, I only played one of those, and I was like, nah. 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 I didn't 100% Revelations, so... Yeah, because of that, pretty much. I 100%ed Brotherhood in 2, and I'm on my way to 100%ing Black Flag, but I accidentally deleted my save game. Oops. Um, yeah, I couldn't do Revelations. It was just so painful. I'm not going to lie. Oh, sorry, go. You, no. Come on, guys, we got to stop this awkwardness. Okay, you go. Um, I, d I d haven't a uh, hundred percented any Assassin's Creed baby please, but um, <laughs> I only do it for the story because I really like the story and stuff. And yeah, well, the story is great. Uh, I in Assassin's Creed Two, I got I unlocked like all the trophies, and then I wanted to do it for Brotherhood, but you, I couldn't because some of them were multiplayer trophies, and no one played that game when I played it. People are still playing Brotherhood multiplayer on PC, I think. Really? I think so. Assassin's Creed multiplayer is very cool. I like it. Because they don't just fall into, oh, let's do team deathmatch. It's got a really nice kind of tense vibe to it. Yeah, I think I played Revelations multiplayer the first time I yeah, played the game. I played a lot of Revelations uh, multiplayer. And I think that was either at this... Uh, it was the year that Assassin's Creed 3 came out. And that was there was only like seven people playing that that game. Multiplayer. And they'd all be like much better than you, which is yeah. always the problem when you start a new game like that. Yeah, I hate that. Um, on the subject of multiplayer games, have any of you guys actually played Titanfall? I have not. No, not yet. Alex uh, has. Yeah, I know Alex. Alex has got it, hasn't he? Yeah. I played a bit of the uh, beta. You know, they've got a really interesting cheater mechanic in their game. Really? If they if you get if you cheat in their game, they don't ban you, but what they do is they put you in lobbies with other cheaters. They're called like jail well servers done. or something. That made me think, I wonder how well that actually works. Mm. That would wow. Um yeah. No, I don't know. Cause I'd love to see some footage from that sort of server. Like it would it just be people standing still and cross map, no scoping and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Is that a, is that a thing in Titanfall? I have no idea. Uh, mm. Probably not. <laughs> Titanfall is a lot of fun. You guys? Ah, oh, they they're going to touch my butt. Nope. Nope. Palmer. Nope. What's what's trying to touch your butt, Palmer? 
Uh, I well, I had the game paused for like the longest time while we were talking. Uh. I came back and apparently I was in a restricted area, and the guards saw me and they're like, mm, "Pull my run, bring me that booty." I would say jump onto the nearest building and and climb, but this is Assassin's Creed Three, so there aren't any bloody buildings. There's only trees. Now this well. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, we'll we'll let we'll let Palmer deal with that. No, uh, I'm still playing. I'm only like an hour into the game, so there are tons of buildings. <laughs> okay, yeah, but it gets to a point where it's just trees. So, do you guys see the announcements for the new Assassin's Creed? Since we're on an Assassin's Creed kind of mood, yes. yeah, Unity and Comet. I, I think didn't... Unity. About time they went to France. I think they made a good choice going to the the French Revolution. Well, everyone's That's wanted true. French Revolution for so long. At least I have. I think it's well, just because the French are just known for being shit. Oh, Ari's surrendering. Back. Welcome back, Ari. They just, and they just want to see the French actually do something, do well in something. That was yeah. a contrived anti-French joke there, but good try, Palmer. Good try. I, yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> okay. I, I yeah. mean, although I was excited about Unity, though, I think I was more excited about. I think it's called Assassin's Creed Comet. The one that's set in feudalist Japan. No, I, I haven't heard anything about that. I haven't heard anything about it, but bloody hell, Japan's going to be exciting, isn't it? Mm. Hey, where's the set? The, 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 next, the next Assassin's Creed is going to be in Japan. I, oh, I, I mean, thought we going to Japan next. on Wednesday, but instead I, my, my parents say, no, I should stay home and study. Study. Or oh, rent out that house I could thing. I going to Japan. Okay, sure. No, nah, nah. Stay with us. Yeah, Japan's fun. I've not been there, though. But I've, I've heard it's fun. I I wanted to go there, but nah. Uh, a couple of friends of mine are going to Japan at the end of next year. Well, I know people that have gone there for school trips, but yeah, our school's too poor and we only went to Sydney. What's the most exotic location you've been to? Um, I've been to Bali. That's not and exotic. Yeah. Just mini Australia. And yeah, England is just better Australia. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> wow. But Australia are totally different. <laughs> uh, so, Ari, what about you? You're obviously <laughs> back and forth between Pretty Indonesia a lot. Yes, yeah, probably Indonesia. Lombok's more, more exotic than Bali, to be honest, because Bali's more consumerized. I only I went to Bali like when I was... I don't know how to say it. Bali's... Two. Bali is more overrun by tourists. Okay, so can and Lombok cause... is it's much more native. Bali is despite in... it being very western anyway. Bali's in Indonesia, right? Not Thailand. No, yeah. it's in Indonesia. You're thinking of Phuket. Okay. What what's the other city in Thailand that all the rich Australian bogans go to? There's another one. Bangkok. Bangkok, that's the one. That is in Thailand. Bangkok right? and Phuket. Yeah. Yeah. Bangkok is the capital of Thailand, I believe. Yes. I'll believe it, Palmer. Yeah, I remember that I'll joke. Leave it. Oh. Yeah. What's the capital? Uh, what's the capital of? Yeah, someone uh, did that to me when I was like in year four, ouch. and they just punched me in the nuts, and it really hurt. I'm and not sure if that was much of a I, joke. I, I didn't I think get was, it. I think he was being bullied, Ari. Is that possible? No, he was. No, because we were like like mates, and he's just like, "Oi, so Ari, what's what's the capital of Thailand?" And I'm like, uh, "I don't know." And he's like, "Bangkok," and he hits me in the nuts. I'm like, "Why did you do that?" Oh. He's yeah, hysterical. I know that feel. There was this. There was this other one that happened to me in like year seven. It's like, hey, what do you do when you're tired? I'm like, what? It's like hit the sack, and then he hit my sack, and I cried. <laughs> was this like a life-defining moment for you, Palmer? <laughs> was this when you decided oh. to stay inside and code for Gary's mod servers instead of instead of having friends? <laughs> yes. Because Gary's mod servers exactly. do not hit you in the sack. At least, I mean, I don't they know. do hit you in the wallet. They do. They are costing a lot, aren't they? They do when people have account. Well, less, than, less than they were problems. before, thanks to Jay. But. Thanks, Jay, from Siren Tech Incorporated. Our yeah, good Siren friends. Bloody, I failed everything. I can't even cross promote properly. <laughs> you know, Benji, Benji08, who of Shut Up Benji fame, did want us to do a little talk on. Console versus PC. Are you guys feeling it? No, mm. no. I don't, no go away. I don't. I'm not sure. I want to go into that territory. Both are good. I think we should save that for another day. Can we not just say it depends I on play... what you want them for? 
I play both. I think I think um, they're really they're really aimed at very different markets. Exactly. Gaming PCs are expensive. They're for people that you know want to play competitively and have money. And have which money. I although, don't have. although some would argue that all those crappy DLCs that you can buy on Xbox and map packs are more expensive. Oh, than you can get the DLCs and map packs on your computer as well. Yeah. You can like play Train Simulator, simulator two thousand dollars worth of DLC. Yes, but the games that people predominantly play on a PC don't usually involve as many DLCs as the ones on Xbox do. Does anyone know what currently the most played games on the PC are at the moment? I will Call say, uh, Counter-Strike. I'm pretty sure it's Counter-Strike still. Is it still Call of Booty? Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's still Counter-Strike. Yeah, Counter-Strike. Yeah, Counter-Strike. It's, it's been uh, Counter-Strike for a long time. Yeah. Hang on, I got this. I know because they can, um... I watch tournaments for CSGO that have uh, price, cash, it, money. It might be... It might be Dota or LoL, possibly. Yeah, I thought, moment, I thought Dota, Dota 2 too. was catching up there, yeah. That's on Steam at yeah. least, but I guess we're not including things so like Steam, Steam and game stats. But that's not including Origin. Current, um, current players, yeah. uh, 500,000 on Dota 2. Jeez, that's a lot of people. Bro. And 60,000 on CSGO. 55,000 Yeah, see, that's CSGO, like... 30,000 on Sid Meier's Civilization 5, oh, interestingly. Oh, I love Sid and, Meier's. 24,000 on Football Manager 2014. That is oh no God. surprise to me. That game... And coming in at a close 6th, 22,000 at Gary's Mod. So wait, where, was Call of Duty up there? No. Where's Call uh, of Duty? No. It's, it's, not a, it's not a popular PC game. It's aimed at consoles mostly, and the demographic that plays Call of Duty mostly plays on a console. But does Caleb... Call of Duty. Hey, yeah. that's me. I'm playing Call of Duty right now. I thought you played uh, on PC. On PC. Um, I can, but I uh, choose not to because my PC is dying. Also, and with, with Ghosts, they kind of released it a really crap version for PC, didn't they? Like there was no good settings. It was frame locked, and it was just. Um, the yeah, the they recommendation was to like eight gig of RAM. I'm Wasn't it also sure. like a fifty gigabyte download or something? Uh, yeah. Affirmative. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, see. Apparently, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I think they fixed up a bit. I think they fixed it up a bit after a while, though. Well, it was mostly well, uh, uncompressed. Call of Duty, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three multiplayer is still more played on Steam than Call of Duty Ghosts. Wait, Call of Duty Three. Call of Duty Modern, Modern Warfare Three. Oh, Modern Warfare Three, right? Yeah, yeah I don't Black see why why that wouldn't be because. But they um, aren't that far apart. It's it's only a difference of about two hundred. Uh, yeah, two hundred players at the moment. I guess we're currently well, mostly in the Australian time and. That game still costs a hundred dollars in Australia. But this this is yeah. over the course of twenty four hours. Really? Yeah. 20. Also, like taking a taking a oh, look at like PC versus Black Ops Two multiplayer console. is more played than Modern Warfare Three multiplayer. Really? Yeah. Thanks for coming off yeah. there. I appreciate that. Palmer, please go. Yeah. Uh, looking at console versus PC again. Uh, on Steam at the moment, on Modern Warfare Three, there's only like three and a half thousand people. But I was playing Modern Warfare Three yesterday, and there was about seventy thousand people on PS Three. Jeez. On yeah. um, Xbox, there's a buttload of people on as well. I remember back when Halo 4 just launched, because I got that launch day, <laughs> and there were about a, 3 million people on it at any given time. Mm. Uh, yeah, died. I wasn't really a big fan. I honestly of, uh, would not uh, shut up about that. Well, you know, it was a great game. It was a great game. Loved it. <laughs> not as good as the other Halos, but still a great game. But its multiplayer, yeah. its multiplayer has just died. There's now about... 800 people on, I think, at any given time. Halo 3 multiplayer was where it's at. Halo 3 yeah. multiplayer was the best multiplayer in any game ever. Yeah, I, I yeah. think I would say. I'm, I think, by the stigma surrounding it, didn't it attract a lot of prepubescent males? Yeah, but you didn't, so you didn't play in the public lobbies. You played in... Shout out to oh, Brennan's right. little scratching noises over there. What is that? What is that noise? That is Brennan. Brennan, are you okay? Do we need you, you, do you need to call an ambulance? ambulance? <laughs> Guys, 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 need help. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm in like downtown. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, guys, they're laughing at my neck beard. Oh, yeah. I wish I, I wish I trained legs. I can't run fast. Uh, this is why wow. friends don't let friends skip legs day. Wow. Oh, it's Brennan, he's talking now. Hi, Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> Brennan, can, can you actually hear us? Uh, yes, I can, I can hear. So, uh... Just going back about 40 minutes into the uh, 
podcast because you haven't been here. What's your favourite Assassin's Creed? Oh my god. <laughs> let's not go back in um, let's not let's not go back. Where were we? I've... We were console versus PC, weren't we? I like how we say we're not gonna talk about it. Well I we think, I think Benji asked us to we should do it. No one likes Benji. That's that's Shut up Benji. Yeah, shut up Benji. Uh as Quinn has said it, so it shall be. I think I think we we went off the track after we discussed that we were talking about the Halo two Halo 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 Halo. the two platforms are aimed for totally different demographics. Yeah, I mean, we started I, off in totally off the different track. markets. I have both, and my Xbox is mostly just used for kind of casual sitting back with games like FIFA. I like only use my Xbox for like games I can't run on my to, fucking shitty. Console. To be honest, despite multiplayer being very prevalent on the PC, I think that. Social games are better suited to consoles. You know, I agree. Like, I plug my headset in, I just kind of sit back on the couch and I'm talking to my friends. Like when Solstice and I played Grand Theft Auto that time. Do you remember that Solstice? Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah, like, and and even at like, like at, you know, at school at the house, we've got a we've got a PS2 and a TV, and it's it's just difficult. It's just difficult to match that like that camaraderie that you get when you're sitting down with your mates at a in front of a console. Yeah, yeah. I had a lot of you can't, you can't all cram yourselves in front of a PC screen and play together. It just doesn't feel right. I miss the yeah, days because of if one of you are a terrorist and the other person sees that's meat gaming, that, that doesn't work on split screen either. K. So I don't split know what you're talking tell about. Trouble in Darius Town would. <laughs> it would be a quick. <laughs> Could, game. You <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Unless unless all unless both people or all three or four people were set as traitors. Cool. But then that'd be predictable anyway, by the other, by the people who weren't in the split screen. I I really like split screen games. You know the uh, the one on good how they're set. You know the one good split screen experience I've had on uh, PC. Ari, oh, you can probably guess this game. Chicken Sonic Invaders. Se- Sonic Stars and Racing. Sega All Stars Racing Transformed. Hey, remember oh, when you said you wanted to play that? So I bought yeah. it and installed it, and then you didn't play with <laughs> hey, me. Hey man, I'll play with you. I will play with you. <laughs> But how many times did that happen? Let's be honest. He's lying. He won't actually. Once. No, we'll plan it and then do it in six weeks. Um, <laughs> but damn it. Uh, no, Sonic and Sega. It's that's that's pretty much just a console experience on the PC. I found because you can have four controllers all hooked in. You're all just sitting back. It's good fun. I wish hmm. I wish we had it on Xbox so we could play it at your house. Sorry. I really get upset with um, <coughs> co-op games that are. Uh, vertical split, not horizontal. I had a if a game does not let me switch between vertical and horizontal, I will just cut my myself. Wow. Wow, that's pretty deep. I I mean the cuts are quite deep, yes. Wow. Worms was also really good. On. PS2. Oh yeah, no, sure no, Worms has got a good split screen as well. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't think it was even split screen. It was just turn based. Yeah, sorry, that's what I meant. Uh, hot yeah. seat, that's what it's called, isn't it? I don't know. I miss the days of us doing uh, Worms videos. They were fun. Oh, shit. They were terrible videos, <laughs> but they were good fun. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Split screen co-op. Co-op games, sorry. Do you guys... Uh, co-op games. They seem to have died. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Games these days don't seem to be released with co-op uh, functionality. Oh, new Unless releases, yeah. But I think, I think games like Left 4 Dead and Killing Floor specifically still have very strong uh, co-op. They're, oh. own, they're not. I wouldn't even know if I'd call them co-op. Because no, they're, they're kind of just they're kind of just wave games. Like, I can't remember what they're called, but it's like the Mass Effect Three multiplayer. No. It's still competitive. Killing Floor is definitely a wave game. Left 4 Dead is not a wave game. Well, yeah, that's that, that's more of a campaign, levels. I suppose. But mm. some of my fondest memories in gaming are from co-op games. Like I played through all the Halo games with my brother, and that was good fun. You have this, a brother. I have many. Um, I want yeah, games these days, they just don't seem to release with any co-op. And I wonder if that's uh, just... Yeah. wonder why that is. It, Wait, do you uh, mean just co-op in general or just like local co-op? Local co-op or like oh. a proper co-op for the campaign. Well, that Dead Rising, separate... The Dead Rising series had good co-op. It did, didn't it? I'm pretty... I Saints Row did too, actually. Yeah, Saints Row was pretty good. Um, I'm... I, I don't know. I think it's more uh, based for one person nowadays because um, it. I think it's a lot more easier to target one person instead of two. Yeah, 
why, what's changed? Is it just the fact that everyone has a console now, whereas before it might just be one guy has a console and all his friends come over to play? Or what? Uh, I think it might just be like the, the whole online gaming thing. Like they're just trying to capitalize on that. So if you think about it, that saves. It might. I mean, you might remember uh, playing console games together, like in the same room, and you might think that it was really fun. Hmm. But uh, a lot of other people also, like, they take into account the effort of going to another person's house. Which online gaming kind of gets rid of. So what, like, real socialization? Yeah, it's just I don't know. A lot of people wouldn't like count that as an effort; they'd count that as fun. Um, what socializing? Yeah, that's not a real thing. I, um, I do, I do see what you mean, though. No, no, I get, yeah, I get like, the point you're trying to make. Yeah, like online gaming just makes it easier to play with your friends. But even even with online, there's not a lot of online co-op of the main campaign. I, like a, games yeah. will have. Like, I guess a, I guess you could say. Being able to communicate over something like the internet, it makes the world a lot smaller, but it doesn't necessarily make people closer. That's very yeah. poignant, Ari. Very poignant. Very deep. Thank you. That's very deep. <laughs> so deep that even <laughs> Sasha Gray couldn't handle it. <laughs> Whoa. That's, that's, that's wow. <laughs> Jeez, uh, so we're setting the bar pretty high with this first podcast, guys. <gasps> oh, my oh my god. god. So in other news, a nine-month-old boy has been accused of attempted murder in Pakistan. Really? Oh. Yeah, what did he do? Want to, uh, I, I nine-month-old boy? Yeah. That's pretty horrendous. That's uh, awesome. Give me the cheese. Sorry. The child and more than two dozen others were accused of throwing rocks with intent to kill police during a raid on a neighborhood. Wow. Did you say nine months or nine years? Nine years, right? Nine, 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 nine months. Nine months? That's still nine a baby. Month. Nine months. You can't. You can't. You can't what? throw. So what? He kind of what? what? Flung a rock. What? Slowly in his direction. I just demonstrated with this twenty cent coin. I don't know why I did that since there's no video whatsoever. Can, can I have the? I'll put the link in the chat. <laughs> uh, I can't click the link because it'll kill my capture. But yeah, how about you click it? Yeah, you know I'm not gonna do that, Palmer. It's fine. What? Do, what's the link? What's the link? Please click it and read it for us, Ari. Yeah. Ah, you can probably mm, okay. Read it well, Palmer can, can do it because he's got it open now. Or, or we can um, just not read it, because that'll probably breach copyrights. Is that a breach of copyrights? Yeah, man. Ready to um, strike down North Korean missiles. <laughs> mm. oh. What do you guys make of where's, this whole missing, when you need him? missing plane? MH370. Um, I don't know if Palmer just said anything. They, uh, they? they need to expand their, their search area to forward and backward in time, I reckon. Forward and backward in time, you think it's... You think yeah. it's warped in time? They need, an extra dim- they need an extra dimension to search through. You know, a lot of people say... Because honestly, anything could have happened. A lot of yeah. people say, oh, how hard is it to find a bloody plane? Am I the only one that's not at all surprised? It's a bloody big earth. I, I'd say... Uh, trying to find a plane, yeah, I understand how like amazingly difficult that could be. Yeah. But losing it in the first place has to require a lot of fucking up. Yeah, they say, um, oh, the pilot well, turned off the transmitter. How, how, do you, how, do you, how is it that easy to turn off the transponder? Well, they're saying... Yeah, the except jack, the thing so. is, every, the, the engines that we're using, which were made by oh, Rolls-Royce, Rolls-Royce, I think, yeah. yep, they have transponders built into them. Yeah, but that's which, just sending back it, flight uh, engine data, not actual positioning, isn't it? Yeah, yeah but they still should have received, like, Data from that afterwards, but now they're not receiving it at all. So either the entire plane's uh, crashed, or they've physically gone to each engine and turned it off. Well, I'd I'd say currently the plane has crashed. There's no other option. This could be like lost. You know, a lot of people were making lost jokes the day after. Are they? Have they they? told us? Um, they've said that the plane has crashed and everyone is dead. Uh What were you saying? Well, there's no. Have they told us what's actually on the plane? Is it just passengers? Um, it's just passengers, there's nothing... It, no, 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 um, two cargo. people had, two, uh, there was two stolen passports, uh, people with passports that were said to be on the plane, but they weren't. They're thinking that it's asylum seekers rather than hijackers, though. Well... Appar- apparently people in Malaysia, I'm trying not to generalise here, but apparently Malaysian airports are quite lax on their security, and a lot of people... Yeah, no, that's, that's true. 
I, I've been to Malaysia. Strangely though, they're so. they're very they're very tight on security for their like commuter trains. Really? Because I, I, when I went to Singapore, I was sitting on the on the train, one of the nice new ones, and they have these TV screens and they put these regular bulletins up. And one of them was, um, if you see someone with a suspicious package and he leaves it on the train, report it to someone and get off the train. Yeah, but so uh, apparently there are that's, that's, a, on that's like a as well. dominant thing. That's everywhere. Really? Yeah. If I've you look on the city bus, on, on you, the bus you're supposed. If you see any un un owned package on anything, you're supposed to report it immediately. It's yeah, a federal. It is it card, a federal offense to yeah. leave something un uh, unguarded? Yeah. Like I don't know. at an airport yeah. or something. And on a guarded bag on a Australian airport, bus, yes. yeah, you report it to the driver. But in Singapore, they make it blatantly obvious that it could be a bomb. Well, yeah, they 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 do that fairly well in Sydney as well. They just don't say it's a bomb. They say. It could be dangerous and it's suspicious and be careful. I'm, I just find so, it weird that it's it must be a predominant enough problem for Singaporeans to has make it Singapore obvious. Has Singapore had any major bomb. terrorist attacks? There, there was the Bali bombings, which was nearby, and I'm guessing everyone in Asia is kind of on their toes because of that. Well, yeah, Bali. There's been quite a lot of kind of criminal activity. Going back really to the, going back to the. There um, was the Bali bombings, and then. There was a recent one, which was a small one, I think, hmm, in yeah. like relation to the Bali bombings. So, okay, what did you want to go back to? Um, the missing Malaysian airliner. Yeah, MH370. Yeah, whether, like, um, disregarding if it was hijacking or asylum thingies, mm -hmm. um, it's still, there was two, still two people that were said to be on the plane, but they weren't because their passport was stolen. Yeah. So they say that they saw the news bulletin and they were like, "What?" They was yeah. like, "These people are dead." As they sat there watching, wouldn't that be a bizarre feeling to turn on the TV and see like, Robbie Quinn is dead? If you were Robbie Quinn, huh. not really. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, "Oh, no, I'm kidding." But Jesus no, but Christ, really, because um, like we travel. And cash in all that health insurance. <laughs> I don't have health insurance. <laughs> 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 we are. Uh, we um, travel on planes regularly, like yeah. um, we go down to Sydney at least three times a year, mm -hmm. and um, it's sort of just that feeling of knowing, you know, um, it doesn't matter where you're really going, anything could happen, and especially because yeah. um, there were, I think there was two or three toddlers on as well. Oh, that's pretty hard. It, it, yeah, it sort of just get well, I've got a younger sister, she turned one in February, and it's like, I don't know, I, I think it's just me, but it like really gets me, because i like, oh, that they belong to a family, and that family is not going to see them. Well, in a lot of the cases, the whole family was on the flight. I know there was one family where their mother stayed behind in the city, and she lost her husband, her daughter, her son. Just awful. Yeah. But having said okay. that, I, I don't think it's that surprising that they haven't found the plane, and I don't really understand all the outrage directed towards that. Definitely, because we, as, like, since it's crashed and it probably over, well, I'm pretty sure they did say it was in the ocean somewhere. I, I, say, oh. I think they're quite sure it's in the ocean, yeah. Yeah, um, it's not that surprising that they haven't found it, because... because the, ocean's the ocean's very deep, deep as well, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And they, just we aren't of... exactly like um, equipped with that sort of yeah, technology. I'm, I'm pretty sure we've explored. We we know more about space than we do about our own ocean. Yeah, and we live with the ocean. You know, yeah. they're still just like they've only gone like fifteen percent of the total ocean depth in the Mariana Trench, haven't they? Like they can't get any deeper than they mm -hmm. have. Yeah. I think one pretty good quote oh. I heard from the guy that was heading the search operations <coughs> in Australia was that it's not just a matter of finding a needle in a haystack, they're still trying to find their bloody haystack. Yes. That's, <laughs> that's pretty true. What hmm. were you going to say, sorry, Ari? Hang on, hang on. Uh... <laughs> Wise words from Ari. I'm, I'm just, no, I, I wasn't going to say anything, I was just... Sorry, I thought you were I was about to start. I was, asking, I was asking what the wingspan of it was, because I want to know how... What the, what the average area of that plane is relative to the Earth's surface area? Well, having it's it's also going to have broken up mid-air, they think, 
Like, it's yep. not just going to have gone down solid. It's going to have broken mm. up before it even landed. So, these things drift a lot. Exactly. That's what they're saying. Like, it, it's um, hard to pinpoint a specific location because there's always, you know, you've got to count, uh, take into account that the water's always moving. <laughs> and, like, because it was flying at such a high, um, high altitude... They think it went... Uh, 10,000 feet or something higher than it was meant to like at an altitude where everyone would have been knocked out yeah because um uh mum works for Virgin okay um and she's with like a lot of engineers and stuff if there's a fire you're supposed to go up because if there's no oxygen it doesn't feed the yeah, fire yeah it stops the flame that makes sense but um yeah if there's no oxygen you can't breathe that's very and, true yeah <laughs> so yeah yeah. Oh, well. Has anyone, everyone looked at the possible motives for it, though? I mean, why on earth would want someone want to make a plane disappear? Uh, political statements. China's full of activists That's, that are always trying to make political mm. statements against the government. I, I heard the pilot was actually uh, being harassed by the government a little bit, or um, got a bit the, mad at the government. The pilot at the time. was uh, very. Uh, very, what's the word I'm looking for, prominent member of a certain political party. I think it's the opposition party in uh, mm. Malaysia. And there's just an election coming up, so that's one possibility. I don't know, I still wouldn't be surprised if this was all just a horrible accident. That, that, that would do a good job of making the current uh, government look really bad. Well, maybe, yeah. All, all in all, the Malaysian government's looking bad from this. They've handled it terribly. No, they're, they're trying to, like... Sweep it under the carpet. That's what they're trying to do. Well, no, because they're trying to do that, but at the same time, they're also reporting every single lead they had. Mm. And they were saying as if it was fact, so they kept saying certain things and then changing it completely, like, no, no, no that's all not true. Well, that, that, they're just digging themselves a hole. Yeah, they've, they've really cocked it up. The, in, like, mm. all in all, uh, we don't know how, what the situation was. And what was happening at the time, so I wouldn't we be can't surprised exactly. If we never find out. I, I, I could see it. The plane never being found. I'm pretty sure there was a New Zealand airliner that wasn't found for another like two months. Yeah. Well, later. the uh, black box is about to go off. They're running out of batteries in that, so yeah. See, like we we don't know what the situation was, and yeah. we can't exactly make judgments because <laughs> we don't know. You know. Hmm. Is the black box meant to float? Um, I do not know. Cause I, mean, I mean, aside from being embedded inside of a plane and just having the whole plane sink with the black box inside, does the black box itself float? I don't... I think it's just attached to the rest of the plane, isn't it? I'm pretty sure, yeah. You'd think they made something like that float. Just well, no, because then, you would, it, then it would drift away from the plane. Well, I know it's orange. Yeah, well, like And they just follow the, the currents. Oh, currents well, that, are not that easy. Currents can, currents can change, can't they? Well, yeah, rather they than having to frequently. dive, rather than having to take a submarine all the way down to the sea floor in wherever, wherever it could be. I guess, I, I get what you're saying. I, I'd rather have it on the surface where you can see it. But how, how would you be able to make the black box be able to firstly exit the plane? Exit the yeah, that, plane that's, not, that's what I'm plane. saying. Like, assuming it's not embedded inside of a giant metal object. Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying there, but... I don't think it's I a I watched a lot of air crash investigations. I don't watch any, so this whole situation is quite, quite remarkable to me. Mm. Well, um, you know how they said they saw um, those orange um, slides? You know when, like, yeah, a plane's yeah, yeah. supposed to... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, on a 777, they're not orange, they're grey. Oh, so that was all just a lie then. Well, not yeah. a lie, but just misreporting. Yeah. It's really surprised me as well how much junk there is seems to be in the ocean. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Like, what, if you're trying to look for stuff, wouldn't you, like, help the environment and take it out while you're at it? Well, I mean, they're in planes with cameras pointing down. Yeah, well, so they, they can't exactly do that. No, I mean, like, they can't just, there like, are reach boats a big and claw stuff, down. are they not? They, are, they only send the boats out once the plane sees something worth sending a boat to. Because the boats uh, take yeah. three days to get to a place, whereas the plane takes 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Aren't they sending a... Uh, isn't there a boat going somewhere right now? Yeah, there's a boat that's on its way with a big fancy piece of American military technology. 
it's supposed to be able to find it, but then it needs the black box to not run out of battery, but that's going to be happening any time now. I'm going to free the fuck out of him. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, Palmer, you said you had something you wanted to talk about. How about you lead us on? Yeah. So, apparently, the other day, James Franco tried to hook up with a 17-year-old. <laughs> oh, no, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> I saw this, too. Yeah. yeah, this was good. That was... Oh, my God. This was... What? I mean, in a way, I feel bad for him. Is, yeah. Isn't he about... What is it? 30-something? 30, 30, 30, 30 in his 30s. And also, oh I want to know if... If Seth Rogen knows he's being cheated on. Because <laughs> let's be honest, Seth Rogen and James Franco are a far better couple. And mm. nothing can tear them apart. But anyway, I, no, I, I feel bad for James Franco and all this. He, he didn't know she was 17. And he, anyone else no, does he, this? He, is he knew. No, he knew. He was, no, he no, was he, he def, yeah, he definitely knew. I'm looking at a picture right now. Yeah, he asks how old the girl is and she says nearly 18. Oh, dear. Well, I yeah. guess I'm wrong. No sympathy. Yeah. Isn't it? <coughs> it's it's legal where he is in America, though I think. No, I think isn't it's not. remotely still the chick's fault for trying? No, no. no she, if James Franco instigated it all, if she James, even, like she if he would, tried to do it by himself, like, like without the, the chick runs into the into James Franco, yeah, and she's like, "Okay, can I take a selfie with you?" And he's like, "Okay, but tag me in it on Instagram so we can talk," and yeah. then he starts chatting her up. Oh, okay, even, yeah, there's even screenshots of her, um, and she's like, uh, he was asking if they, if they should get a hotel room, and she's like, no, I'll come back when I'm 18. I, I feel like the chick's mm. been ba- was baiting him into it a bit, though. Like, mm. send proof, plus and all that sort of stuff, and it seems like she wants to mm. make a name for herself out of it all. Or unless she's just a that, love that's a good teenager. Point. True. But I, I think she's she saw a chance for publicity, and she took it, and... Mm. Whilst definitely it is morally (laughs) ambiguous to say the least that James Franco is using his fame to try and chat up 17-year-olds, I do feel a little bad for him in it all. Anyway, Ari, what were you trying to say? Uh, That was was to do with that. Okay, well. Oh, Uh, Brennan's left the call after his amazing contributions. Brennan. Yeah, apparently there were were some people saying that uh, he he did this to get publicity for his new movie coming out. James Franco did it for publicity. Uh, that's what some of these articles are saying. Oh. Apparently, the, uh, in his next film, he plays a university teacher that chats up a student or something. Oh. oh. I bet he was just practicing. Well, then, this does add <laughs> a whole... He, he's I, definitely getting into character. i got to yeah. say, I do hate the celebrity kind of cult that we have in society. I buy into it, so I'm just as guilty, but I hate the way we, we idolize them and discuss mm-hmm. every single thing they do. Like, I like Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, I think, I think I we think all do. It's just exciting. <laughs> but is it? They're just living mundane you, you lives. You don't want to hear about any... Like, oh, we, no, my we God. Like to see, we like to see rich and famous people being brought down to our level. Or below our yeah. level. Yeah, but it's not always when they do bad things. It's when they do good things as well. Like on Reddit the other day, the front page post was Robert Downey Jr. having a bunch of kids over to watch Captain America or something. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't buy into that. Oh, who cares? I like Robert Downey Jr. But, but yeah, people know, like that because it makes, them, seems like it nice makes them seem human, other, other than some, like, entity. Yeah, but why do no, you... but then again, if you... If, like, if you say if you're, like, in your 30s or your 40s or however, however old Robert Downey Jr. is, and you try to get a bunch of kids to come over and watch Captain America with you... <laughs> you're going to get some dirty glasses, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, yeah, well... No, Michael Jackson... Michael Jackson tried that. Michael Jackson did that, like, once, apparently, and that was... That was... Uh, there was a lot of... A lot of <laughs> fuckery going on with that. Was he ever... If was it, he ever proven guilty? Before he died? More. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to say up. If it was out of good, like, faith, like, hey, come over, watch Captain America with me. I, get, that's, that's I think he did it for a publicity that. stunt as well, because if you look at the photos of him... It, it was his birthday as well, I suppose. Well, like, if you want to share it with people, then yeah, that's And cool. I mean, I guess those kids are going to remember it for the rest of their life, so is there a problem with it, but... No, I don't see a problem with it. No, like, I guess you're not. You're trying to make there's, people there's no happy. Question, did it for publicity. Oh, everything, are... everything any one of these people does is for publicity. I like Jennifer Lawrence. Okay. She is a character that we have been... I like Jennifer Lawrence. ...bought into like. You know she plays really up like... to it. 
and we all like her, and it's worked for her, hasn't it? <laughs> She's now an Oscar winner, one of the most popular celebrities. Not Leonardo DiCaprio, though. Cool that guy. Was, <laughs> that, was a, that was a good joke. Good lead-in. Uh, no, Michael Jackson like was not found guilty. He was not? Okay. Well. But it's pretty much assumed that he was. He right? was. Did you guys hear yeah, that? Yeah, everyone vacuum thought he was. Sorry, go on, Ari. Did you, did you hear that vacuum planer? So, I hope you didn't. Uh, you know, I didn't catch it. I hope not. I heard a little bit of it, I'm pretty sure. I thought uh, it was I'm easy. sure the I audience, it. if they make it this far into the video, will have heard it and will complain in the comments. Wait, what? Well, what? 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 People watched our entire Payday 2 video, so I don't see why they... Did they watch the entire thing, though? <laughs> anyway, anyway, you know what? It's been, it's been about an hour. Should we start to wrap up, guys? Yeah, we could. Yeah. Still got plenty to talk about, to be honest. Well, we can save it for the next couple of episodes, Ari. I like Jimmy Fallon. Do Fowler. you want to extend this one? Uh, you know, just I, a little bit more? I, I have actually <laughs> got to go pretty soon, so I'd rather sort of end the episode. Yeah. Well, it gives us more to talk about next episode, doesn't it? Yeah, if if people want a next episode. So if you have liked this... Well, like, they're going to get one anyway, so I don't care. Uh, be sure to <laughs> give us a like. <laughs> You're going to shove it down the necks. Because <laughs> we don't have anything else. Should we release an audio-only version as well? Do you think just like an MP3 that we host somewhere? Is that Let's put it up on iTunes on for people to listen to on their way to school. Sound, I've got Game Redacted SoundCloud coming at you live. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for sticking us out. I've been uh, Robbie Quinn. With me, Palmer, K, Ari. Hello. And just, yes. and just remember, if you didn't enjoy this, then Soulstorm will come and touch your butt. I'm coming for booty. You can decide whether that's good or bad. Swiggity, swaggity, swiggity. Booty. Booty, booty. booty. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. It was nice. Ari, no. oh, you didn't say bye to the people. Bye, gosh. <laughs>